Right, this is an unboxing video. I've just got a uh, surprise parcel force package um, came through. Got dropped off to a neighbour. Um, just recently, I sent um, an email to just as a bit of a backstory to uh, the community officer at um, Helping Hands, which is HH Environmental. They basically make all the uh, the best selling litter picker range in the UK, such as the um, the Streetmaster Pro and um, the Handy Hoop and stuff like that. They've just brought out a big cart and stuff like that. Um, they've helped my group um, see at Picket Binnet, which is a litter group in Kettering in the past, and um, they've been a, an amazing help. Like half of the stuff that I've done over the years clearing rivers and stuff just wouldn't have been possible without their help, in addition to the local council and stuff like that. So yeah, I sent them an email um, after one of our group members has got a, a four-year-old boy, I think he's four, and he's mad about litter picking. He goes out and he's got his, he's been bought his own picker by his dad. Um, his dad, um, it's a funny story, he used to not really care about litter. And uh, you know, I called him out a couple of times on it and stuff years ago. And just over the years, my litter pickings seems to have rubbed off on him and then got passed on to his son. So his son um, has a litter picker, but it doesn't have a hoop. So he, he um, bumped into me when I was doing a litter pick in our local park called Wixty Park. And um, yeah, and said, look, I've, I've tried to get a, a hoop. Don't know where to get one from. Um, is there any, I can't afford one really. Um, is there any chance you could uh, put your feelers out and see what there is? So I sent an email to um, to the community officer and said, look, is there any chance we could have any of your broken or, or we, any of your trialing, um, sort of your the stuff that you trial and do tests on, anything that was going to end up in a bin, hopefully that would um, like be something they could help out with. I didn't, you know, didn't really uh, expect any help, but literally two days after the email, after the email reply, this turned up. So, I don't even know what it is to be honest, but I'm hoping I know what it is. So let's just hope I'm not stick the knife through the bottom and demolish the contents. Oh, that's promising. That's quite, oh my god. It's one of the problems. It's one of the handy hoop pros with the funky, <laughs> with the funky Sega sort of uh, games machine handle or Cheetah Pro Spectrum. <laughs> People remember that. That was amazing. So this is a new design. This is something they've only just come up with. The previous design was uh, a plastic hoop, and it was um, split in half with a hinge, like a clamshell kind of thing. And you put the bag in it, close the cam the clamshell up. I did have one of those and unfortunately on a litter pick I uh, left it with the bags. I left it with the bags that I actually uh, gave to the council to collect so <laughs> that ended up getting uh, recycled I think. Let's have a look. A professional tool that is high quality and robust. So this, yeah, so beforehand, this has even got a strap, beforehand it was a clamshell design. Now what they've got is a solid frame by the look of it, anodized aluminium. It's got a strength of plastic section at the front. And then to retain the bag, there is, I assume you pull it up. So look, I'm gonna figure this out as I go. So that's the strap there, so I assume that can go around your neck and give you some means of support so that you can actually have the bag just hanging so your hands don't get tired. Okay, so there's the strap, that goes on the front, and then you've got the bungee part there. I'm wondering if that pulls off. Interesting. So, that seems quite, oh there we go, so this end, you've got a little pull tab. And I assume you pull that. Okay. That comes off there. Let's get rid of that strap. There we go. 
So that's the pull tab. You put the, uh, the bag in there. And then... Uh, Completely obsessive compulsive of that staples. I hate ripping stuff through. Just in case I need to put it back. Comes from many years of uh, opening presents and then trying not to get caught. <laughs> okay, this is a handy hoop professional choice. Mm. Instructions for use. There we go. Take a firm grip of the handle. To fit the bag, first pull on the tabs to release the elasticated cord. Push through an open bin bag. Soothe round. <laughs> Not smooth around, soothe around the edges and fasten securely with this. Quite hard to read this. Oh, with the retainer misspelt. Where's the I? There's no I in team. Okay. Right, that's something I can feed back to him. I need to proofread their leaflets. Secure grip handle. Handle. This is fascinating. It's nice to have something so so robust. That extrusion is extremely. Robust. It's sort of ovoid shape, and it's got ribbing as well. Rib for pleasure. And um, so that is that is substantially more strong than the uh, the plastic version. This handle looks to be interesting. I'd be definitely interested to see how that plays out in terms of your wrist holding it. But if, as I said, that's probably why during trials they've probably added a strap to it. And you can control the bag like that, but the main weight of the bag is actually supported by the strap. And you've got a, a leading edge there, so that your picker can go in without getting interfered with. That is a lovely, lovely piece of kit. Absolutely so chuck for that. So that is going to be winging its way to my mate Dave to uh, give to his son. Any luck, his son's birthday is going to be coming up. And uh, he'll get them. <laughs> he's only four, bless him. <laughs> he's uh, it's going to be a bit small for this. But yeah, I mean, I mean, there is a chance. There is a chance that I, if it's too big for him, what I could do is maybe go out and buy a smaller, a smaller hoop, one of the sort of traditional, just a, basically a hoop with little clips on it, for him, and then I could use this for my group. That is amazing. Really well made, really ergonomic. And yeah, I'm, I'm, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll get out picking with this. And I could always lend it to them because they, they pick probably more infrequently than I do. So, uh, so I could probably lend it to them on their picks and then uh, be the custodian of it. in somewhere, I'm assuming, unless that's a belt clip. It's probably a belt clip. Oh, yeah. And there it is, the Handy Hoop Plus from HH Environmental. Interesting. As soon as I, uh, as soon as I try it, I'll, uh, I'll get out and I'll, um, I'll see how it performs. Big, massive opening. You can't really see that from here, but if you can just get a general idea. I mean, in terms of in terms of the actual measurements, <clears throat> all this stuff. Let's get this cord back on. That's in there. And feed it around. You wouldn't want to get this in the eye, that's for sure. There's a lot of tension on that. A lot of tension. In fact, I reckon if the if the zombie apocalypse came, I reckon I could probably adapt this into a crossbow. <laughs> there we go. So look. There we go. So that's back in there. So if we look at the, uh, the sheet out of the way, on here, that's so the op actual opening itself is forty-one centimeters. So that would be about 10 centimetres, so that would be 30, so yeah, so about 
16 inches, roughly. That's not bad. That is not bad. And crossways. Look at that. Sorry for the, uh, the appalling light in here. But, um, so there. And that is 12 inches. So 12, 13. 14, 15, yeah, about 16 inches, roughly. Rough, just over 16 inches. So, mm. there we go. And it's uh, grips plenty big enough. I've got reasonably big hands. Oh, that I am. And that's brilliant. It's really nice and ergonomic. Look at the profile of that. Looks like some kind of alien spacecraft, doesn't it? Bongs and Star Wars. But the good thing about this is that this bungee cord is a standard stock item. So if that does go, I assume that it's just knotted. Yes, it is, yeah. If you look in there, into that hole, you shine that light into there, you can see that it's knotted there, and it's probably knotted exactly the same on the other side. Yes, it is. Just in there, you that strap up. So that's a stock item elasticated cord so that's that's going to be very very serviceable um these little tabs i mean you don't necessarily need those to operate it but because a bag changes is, is quite an infrequent thing that's going to be that's going to be a practically useful sort of setup really because if you change a bag maybe average bags about five kilos so you'd be probably be looking at maybe an hour between bag changes, depending on how quickly you pick. So yeah, that's going to be absolutely fine. But be very, very interested to see how that operates. Brilliant. Okay, so let us know what you think of it. If anyone else um, has tried any other products that uh, do the same kind of thing, open up a bag and allow you to litter pick without uh, constantly catching the bag and ripping the entrance of the bag. And obviously in the wind, it closes the bag up as well. So if, if anyone else has any other recommendations, I'll be interested to um, hear those in the comments section. Okay, cheers guys.